What's up everyone? Thank you for watching the very first episode of Cheap and Classy Fishing. So my name is David Haslam. I've been fishing for a very long time since I was very little. But recently I decided to do this YouTube channel because I wanted to be able to show other people that you can do fishing without spending a lot of money. So throughout this channel, I'll be going over products that I think are, are really good. Um, I'll also be doing fishing trips and even we're going to be restoring the boat. So make sure that you subscribe below so that way you can see the cool stuff that'll be coming. Um, there'll be a video that'll be up about ice fishing for cutthroat chop up here in Northern Utah. Um, so there's some cool stuff that'll be coming out. That's for sure. So right now it is winter time up here in Utah and obviously the fishing isn't going to be as great. So I'm hoping to put up videos pretty frequently. Uh, so just look out for them and, and hopefully we can get them up pretty soon. So today we're going to go over a tackle warehouse order that I personally purchased um, not too long ago. And I wanted to put together an order that would be perfect for a beginning bass fisherman or woman. Um, so we're going to go over just the, the rods, the reels, the baits, even the hooks, everything that I purchased that I feel that anybody should have in order to start bass fishing. Some of these things can definitely be used for other types of fishing and you'll see me using it for those other types of fishing throughout the next year. Um, but a lot of this stuff is focused towards bass fishing. I used one of these rods yesterday for my ice fishing trip. So you'll see that, that it's overall anything can be used um, could be caught with these types of baits. So let's go over it and uh, that way we can see what, what we got. So if you really get, don't want to hear me talk this entire time, I know this video is going to be a little bit long. Um, you can see everything that's on this order down in the script description below. Just make sure that you uh, find the correct thing on Tackle Warehouse the, per, the items might be a little bit different in price on the warehouse right now. A lot of these things I did buy on sale, which I feel is the most, the best time to purchase something. I don't think that you should pay full price if you don't have to. So make sure that you're looking for things that are on sale because it's going to help you make sure that you catch more fish because you have more baits and other things like that. So let's start off with the different reels that we got and then we'll go through the rods and then we'll just go keep going from there. So the first two reels that I want to go over is the Daiwa Excelsior. Um, this first one is their HLA uh, 100. So this one is a 6 3 to 1 ratio reel. So as you can see this reel is pretty nice. I got it for pretty inexpensive because it was on sale. Uh, I really like this reel. Um, the grips are pretty amazing on it and it works out really well with the rods that I got. So I got one, this one is the six three to one, like I said, and then the other one that I got is the seven three to one. So I got the two different types of reels because one, I wanna be able to use on my bigger rod, which we'll uh, see in just a minute. The other one I'm going to be using on a smaller rod um, that I actually don't have yet that was on back order so they haven't gotten it to me yet. Um, but that rod is going to be a seven foot medium uh, rod. So I wanted to have a little bit of a slower one so that way I could use that one for the bottom baits. Um, and then the other one's going to be more for moving baits and other things of that sort. The other reel that I got is the Daiwa Legolas. This is the 2500 SH. This reel, I got in a little bit bigger size so that way I could fit more line on it. Um, this one is going to be my finesse setup. So as you can see, this rod is really nice. Daiwa does amazing. I'm not sponsored by them or anything else. I'm not trying to say that, but they have reels that are very nice that are also very inexpensive. So this one I used yesterday in the ice fishing trip um and man i absolutely loved it so i definitely recommend getting Daiwa reels they seem to last really long all the reviews stated that they were uh, well put together and everything else so we'll definitely be reviewing this at a later date but make sure that you look out for this reel 
So next, let's go over the rods that we got. The first one is gonna be our seven foot three medium heavy action Daiwa rod. Um, this one is the Arid X. Hopefully you can see that there. So these ones are supposed to be their economical fishing rods. Now, I don't see anything economical about this rod. It is absolutely amazing. And I have already fallen in love with this rod. So um, I feel like a lot of times we look at things and we're like, it's cheap, it's not gonna work out as well. I don't believe in that. I believe that cheap will work just as well as any other rod. And from what I've seen from this rod already, it definitely follows through with that. So I would definitely recommend the Arid X. Just make sure um, that it is at a good price. Um, I don't think I got this one on sale. I know I got the Legolas uh, reel on sale, but this is awesome. So next, let's go over the next rod that I got. Oh, and the medium rod that still hasn't gotten here yet is another Arid X. It's just their medium um, series rather than the medium heavy. Uh, it's a seven foot and it's the same exact rod. So I definitely recommend getting that one as well. So this one is the Daiwa um, DB, DXB. So this one is a little bit more expensive, uh, but I feel like because I got this on sale, it was okay for me. Um, I wouldn't normally get this at their normal price, but it was on sale. So if I was not getting a sale item, I would probably have just gotten the uh, Arid X in the spinning rod um, category. But again, this is a Daiwa item. I feel that Daiwa is pretty amazing. I'm not sponsored by them, so don't think that. Um, but they do have good prices on their, their gear. So I definitely recommend Daiwa for any beginner, uh, just because there's no reason to be spending a lot of money uh, on this type of stuff. So next, let's go into the uh, lines that we got. So the first one is going to be the Seaguar Red Label. This one is in 12 pound and it is fluorocarbon. So I got this one in 12 pound because from the reviews that I was looking at is it the 15 pound, it gets a little bit unmanageable, but I wanted something that was strong. And then I got two cigar braids. The first one is the 20 pound and then the other one is the 30 pound. So the 20 pound went onto my fishing or my spinning reel and the 30 pound went on to the seven three to one reel. So um, I just, I really enjoy braid, especially on a spinning setup because it doesn't have that memory in it. So if you're gonna be starting out with any type of new reel, make sure that you get braid, especially on spinning. Don't be using any of the mono or anything else like that. It's got way too much memory in it. So just make sure that you, you go with that braid. One of the cool things with Tackle Warehouse is that when I got, when I did the purchase, I was able to get some free rod or reel covers. So make sure that you look for any other uh, specials that they're doing at the time period. These are pretty amazing to keep your reels uh, safe and keep those scratches off of them because that's an easy thing to do. So let's go through the baits and then we'll go to the terminal tackle and we'll go from there. So the first one that I want to go over is the Baby Brush Hog. So the Baby Brush Hog I got in three different colors. This first one is the Green Pumpkin. So as you can see, this Baby Brush Hog has a lot of action. So I'm going to be Texas rigging this and it'll be um, a bottom bait. You could probably do this with uh, weightless, but I figure making sure that it gets to the bottom faster and able to do it that way uh, will we'll catch the fish faster. So the first one I got was in the green pumpkin. I also got blueberry and I got watermelon red. So the blueberry one I'll be throwing in dirty water. The other two I'll be throwing in the clear water. Just, I got the watermelon red and the green pumpkin separate just because I wanted to have more 
I wanted to try different colors. So the next one we're going to go over is the Young Dinger. This one is essentially just another Senko, uh, just a stick bait. So these ones are perfect for weightless uh, or having weight either way. But this is an overall bait that will catch anything anywhere in the country. Um, so I got it in, let's see, I think this is a green pumpkin. The other one is a black and blue. And then I also got it in one with a chartreuse as well. So I really, really like these baits. I've caught a lot of fish off of these and I definitely recommend anybody that's starting this out, go for those young dingers for sure. Um, so the next one that we're going to go over is the craw chunk. This one I got as a trailer for any of my jigs. Um, these ones are pretty cool because they come with a, a pretty decent sized pack and they're really not expensive at all. Um, but they got some good action in them. Some good craws that are on there. Some good claws that are on there. So definitely recommend getting those. And I got those in watermelon red and then also the black and blue as well for dirty water. So next up, we're going to talk about the jigs. So they actually kind of sent me some, I, I hope it's a jig, but this one, this first one is for sure the jig that I ordered. So it's a black and blue. It's got a really nice trocar hook on there. And it's also weedless, so we're not going to get caught up too bad, hopefully. Um, but I really like these ones because I am going to be doing a lot of shore fishing right off the bat. And I think a lot of new people into bass fishing do shore fishing. So these ones are casting jigs. And so you can get it out there a lot faster, but it'll still do the same thing as like a football jig or whatever else. Um, and it's a little bit more on the finesse side. So you're going to be able to catch things a lot easier in any condition. Um, so I got that in the black and blue. And then this one was supposed to be it, but I'm not sure what they sent me. It looks more like a chatterbait, but this is the casting jig in the dark green pumpkin. So next let's go over the grub double tails. These ones will be used on my chatterbaits or spinning baits or whatever else as a trailer. They have really great action. Um, this came in a 20 pack for really inexpensive. Um, this is from Gary Yamamoto. So I definitely recommend picking some of these up because you will lose a lot of trailer baits um, just because of the nature of them being on, on the ends of the spinning bait or chatter bait. So I got these in the black and blue as well and also the watermelon red. So let's go over our chatter baits here. So this first shatter truce colored and it has a gold blade on it. Um, I think this is going to be absolutely amazing in the clear water situations. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to throw this chatter bait. I feel really comfortable with chatter baits because it's what I've been using for quite some time now. Uh, all last summer, that's what I used. So I definitely am super excited about that. And then I also have the black and blue. So. Dirty water as well. So next up we have the Kitek, Kitek Fatties. These are swim baits and these are gonna catch me a lot of fish. So uh, I definitely recommend purchasing these. These are a little bit on the more expensive side, um, but it's, it's totally worth it. These are perfect for any situation that you're going to be in, be it heavy cover, be it open water, whatever. These will catch you fish. They'll catch you a lot of fish. Not always the size, but it'll definitely get the numbers in the boat. So I got these, these bigger ones, and then I also got the smaller ones. So these ones are the Kitex as well. These ones are the Easy Shiners. So this is a, a four inch one. It's a little bit smaller, but 
I am super excited about these ones. And then I also even got the smaller ones, which these ones are the three inch. These ones will catch anything. I don't care what size it is, it'll catch it because these things are tiny. You can tell it's not even the size of my finger. Like they are super tiny. So I'm excited to be able to throw these. Um, so definitely pick those up. If you're only looking for certain things off of this order, you're going through down below and you're like, well, I only want this one, I want this one. These ones I definitely would grab. The next one we'll look at is the Booyah Frog. It's a pad crasher. These ones are necessary for any type of top water situation. Um, I definitely recommend getting either these ones or they also have a popper. I like these ones because they'll kind of dive in the water a little bit differently. They don't just pop water up all over the place. So if you're looking more of a finesse type of application, I like these. Um, if you kind of notice a lot of these things are more on the finesse side, just because I feel as a beginner fisherman with bass is that you don't want to go with the crazy stuff right off the beginning and that you want to be able to get more comfortable in learning like how these things work. And so if you get the finesse style more, then you're going to be able to catch a lot more fish and feel more comfortable in what you're doing and get more confident in the different baits that you're going to be throwing. So that's it on just strictly the baits. Um, let's go through the terminal tackle and what baits we're going to be using them with. Um, this, this first one is the lucky strike um Scruger. this one's actually pretty cool i i'd never seen this before but one of the people in the reviews recommended using this for these kitex um so this one is pretty cool because it does have this really big bill it'll kind of force it to shimmy more and it'll make that kitex look more realistic so the kitek just slides right on there um, and and it actually fits perfectly on these three inch. I did it a little bit earlier and it looks amazing. So definitely recommend those to pair up. Also for uh, the bigger kitex, the, the fatties, these ones here, I got the Trocar swim bait hooks. This is a three aught and it's an eighth of an ounce weight that's on it. These are really cool um, because it gets it down to the right depth and it also makes it look right. So if you look on this one already, we have it already put together. So it just screws into the top here and then when the fish bites it, it pulls that hook down and then you're able to, to hook that fish. So it's, it's really a great hook. I definitely recommend it for when you're using these types of fish or lures. For almost everything else, um, I was I got these Gamagatsu EWG hooks. This is the three aught and then I also got the four aught. These hooks are strong. Nothing's gonna bend these out and they're the right size. So they have that good wide gap and um, anything that you put rig that up on it's going to give it enough space for that fish to bite on and move the bait out of the way for the hook to be able to to attach to so next we're gonna let's go over these bullet weights uh, i got a bunch of them just because i didn't have really any uh, again as a beginner if you only want to get one of each that's fine um, but I recommend getting two of most of them just because then you won't run out out on the lake So this half ounce, I don't have a lot of um, Big structure or anything else like that up here in northern Utah A lot of our lakes are open. So I only got one of these half ounce. These are great for punching or uh, getting through some really big vegetation so I recommend only getting one of these. You can get two if you're down in Florida or some of those places with really big vegetation. Um, but for here, I just don't see the purpose of it. Next one is the 3 8 ounce. I did get two of these ones just for when I really want that bait to hit the bottom real quick or if I'm using a really big worm. 
uh, I'll definitely be using these three eighths ounce. And then I got the quarter ounce. I got two of those as well, eighth ounce, and then even two of the 16th ounce. So I like these ones for the finesse application of it because these will get the, the bait down to the bottom and not so slow as a weightless, but it still allows it to slowly drop. So in like these cold time periods, you want it to be slow because the fish don't want to fight for their for their meals. They want to be able to slowly get it. And so I really enjoy these 16th ounce. I also did get the bobber stopper or the peg stoppers. These ones are great for if you're going to be doing Carolina rigging um, or if you're going to be punching, you're going to want to make sure that you stop that weight and it's not going to be sliding up and down on the, on the line. So that's everything inside of this order. It might not seem like a lot, but it definitely is everything that you're going to need if you're going to be beginning bass fishing. So I recommend that you pick up anything in this. If you need to do this stuff slowly, where you slowly pick up each item, it's, it's totally worth it. I would recommend that uh, you go through Tackle Warehouse because it was an easy ordering process. All I did was go through and order each and every one of them and then hit submit. It was super easy. It showed up at the doorstep. I like Tackle Warehouse because of that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like it or leave a comment below if you want to see different things. But I appreciate your guys' support on this channel and we'll see you next time.